This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Swig Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Happy Monday, East Alabama and West Georgia as we kick off a brand new work week. This is your primetime forecast for Monday, June 17th, 2024 on Dr. Don's Weather. Hey, you need to be in Salem, Alabama this Friday night, every Friday night at the Salem Auction House at 50 Lee County Road 175 in Salem, Alabama. Joey Knight's got it going on down there. This is the place to be on Friday nights, folks. And you can go to their Facebook page, and in most cases, you can kind of get an idea of the type of items they have up for auction every Friday night. It's good quality merchandise. Uh, Joey takes a lot of, uh, puts a lot of work into this, and it's, it's well worth your drive down to Salem Auction House. Uh, most of the time, he has a food truck down there on Friday nights. We're going to come down there and do a live in the not-too-distant future and have a good time at the Salem Auction House. Give Joey a call at 706-315-7266 if you'd like to find out more information about the big event every Friday night in Salem, Alabama. Also, be sure you contact Mr. Jamie Dukas and get your ducks in a row with Dukas with your Alpha Insurance. You can click the link at the top of the video. You can call Jamie at 256-831-7770 to find out what Jamie Dukas can do for you with your insurance. In most cases, he can save you money and increase your insurance coverage. Be sure you contact him today. Also, head over to our YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button and the little bell so that when we go live to cover severe weather you'll be guaranteed to get that push notification so we have huge high pressure digging in over the nation's northeast and that is going to push all the moisture what little bit there is to the west of east alabama and west georgia now we're looking at primarily along i-65 and west will stand the best chance of seeing a scattered shower or thunder shower there are actually some showers out there this morning but they're going the wrong way not going to help us much across east alabama and west georgia and it's going to remain dry through the end of the week our next best chance of seeing any precipitation will come on sunday and even then it doesn't look like it's going to be a very good opportunity let's take a look at the drought monitor unfortunately we're going to have to start looking at this and you can see that randolph county extreme southeastern cleburne portions of northern and central clay and extreme northern chambers um, beginning to get into the abnormally dry category across east alabama now we're not there quite yet but uh, we are on the map <laughs> so if you if you're gonna if you're gonna be on the map this is not what you want to be on the map for but unfortunately we are so we do need rain across east alabama and west georgia but unfortunately we're not going to see it the only good news i can give you for this upcoming week is that temperatures will back off about two to three degrees for daytime highs we will be in the low to mid 90s instead of mid to upper 90s for your daytime highs take a look at the tropics a lot going on out there this morning as well southwestern gulf of mexico there's a large area of disturbed weather uh, it's located over the central Amer over central america the yucatan peninsula of mexico and the adjacent waters of the northwestern caribbean sea and southern gulf of mexico a broad area of low pressures forecast to form from the system over the southwest gulf of mexico later today or tonight environment conditions appear conducive for subsequent gradual development of the low and a tropical depression or tropical storm is likely to form by midweek while it moves slowly west or west northwest toward the western gulf coast regardless of the development several days of very heavy rainfall are expected across portions of southern mexico and central america and these rains are likely to cause life-threatening flooding 
and flash flooding conditions. Uh, the chance of formation through seven days, 70%. This is going to happen. Uh, so I'm afraid we're looking at uh, maybe some devastating rains down there in Mexico, which could cause some uh, some flooding, could cause some mudslides, could be a mess down there over the next several days. Now, if we didn't have this blocking high to the northeast, this area would probably move up into the central Gulf and could potentially become a major issue for East Alabama and West Georgia. However, we have a unusually strong ridge across the northeastern U.S., and that's pushing everything to the west. So that's why that storm's going back into Mexico instead of out into the Gulf of Mexico. And also, that yellow-hatched area north of the... Uh, uh, of the islands uh, east of the Florida Peninsula and just off coast of Georgia in the southwestern Atlantic Ocean, a trough uh, or an area of low pressure is forecast to form a few hundred miles northeast of the central Bahamas in a day or two. Environmental conditions could be conducive for some development of this system. Therefore, while it moves to the west or west-northwest, the system is forecast to approach the coast of the southeastern United States on Thursday or Friday. Now, again, that's going to be moving to the west-northwest as well, so that could be our next, <clears throat> excuse me, that could be our next rainmaker across east Alabama and west Georgia. Now, we don't think it's going to be a, a tropical storm category by the time uh, we see uh, this on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Uh, but certainly, we could get some moisture off of it as it swings across the southern edge of that high and pushes back across Georgia back into Alabama. Uh, most likely, that would be late Saturday into Sunday or maybe one week from today before we start to see any effects of this if it does develop right now. The National Hurricane Center is giving it about a 30% chance of developing in the next couple of two or three days. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. Let's take a look at your current conditions at the venue at Five Points Farms. Currently 71.8 degrees. Feels like 73.2 out there. No wind at the moment. Humidity 96%. Wow, it's muggy out there. Barometric pressure 30.09. Dew point 71. High yesterday officially was 93.4. I know some of you got a lot warmer than that. Sky conditions currently partly cloudy. Sunrise this morning at 5.30 a.m. The sun sets this evening at 7 54. Another hot day on the way. We'll make it to 90 in Roanoke, 93 in Franklin, 91 up in Lineville. Auburn tops out at 93, and LaGrange will hit 92 this afternoon. Southern Union, State Community College Live Doppler HD radar in just a moment. First, here is your six day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Partly sunny today with a high near 90 down to 69 tonight. Mostly sunny on Tuesday, 87. Carbon copy out there on Wednesday. Thursday, sunshine 88. Might have to get those coats out on Thursday. And then on Friday, we're at 92 with lots of sunshine. Saturday, we start to see that next chance of rain, though it's only a 20% at the moment. 95 will be your high temperature. So as you can see, we get a little bit of a reprieve from the heat, but it's coming back Friday as we make it up to 95 degrees on Saturday. Uh, partly sunny skies with scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Long, dry, hot week on the way for East Alabama and West Georgia. Now, here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar. And as you can see, there are a few scattered showers out there this morning, but primarily along and west of the I-65 corridor. And we think that's where the rain will stay today. Uh, not looking for much at all on the eastern side of the state or the western side of Georgia. We'll take you in a little bit closer across central Alabama so you can get a better look at what's happening. These are very light. Um, the column's very saturated out there, so I suspect all of this is making it to the ground. But we're just talking, for the most part, about sprinkles down here in Chilton County, uh, northern Otauga. They got a really big thunderstorm down there in Prattville and Montgomery yesterday afternoon gave them some very beneficial rainfall. And there were a few scattered showers around the area, but for the most part, uh, we remain high and dry across East Alabama and West Georgia.
Hey, don't forget to head over to our weather store and pick up a Dr. Don coffee cup, uh, maybe a baseball cap and a T-shirt. Now, that helps support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. Part of the proceeds from the sale of this merchandise come back to Dr. Don's Weather. So uh, please consider doing that. If you absolutely can't, here's one thing you can do for us that's free. If you're on Facebook, share us with your friends. Ask your friends to share with their friends. Make sure you like us on Facebook. If you don't like us at least once a week, we will fall off of your news feed, and you will not get notified when we go live to cover severe weather. So very important that you like us all the time and share us with your friends. Ask them to share with their friends, so forth and so on. And here's the overall best idea. Head over to our YouTube channel and search Dr. Don's Weather Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that little bell so that when we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that notification. YouTube does it differently than Facebook. On YouTube, you get an automatic push notification. Doesn't matter whether you interacted with us in the last hour or the last year, you're going to get notified. Uh, that's different from the way Facebook looks at it. So be sure you do that. You watch us wherever you want to, but you got to go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and click that little bell so you get notified. Hey, that'll do it for this morning's edition of your primetime forecast. Stay hydrated if you're going to be out there in the heat. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We'll do all of this again first thing tomorrow morning, right here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.